we're talking about the Queen Anne's County Library local author signings, um, December 6th, at both branches, Ken Allen and Centerville. And um, it just so happens that one of the authors that's going to be there is Brent Lewis, and he's sitting right here with us, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this book, um, A History of the Ken Allen Volunteer Fire Department. Tell us about this. I will. Um, this is actually my second book about Ken Allen. Uh, the first one is called uh, Remembering uh, Ken Island stories from the Chesapeake and uh, this is the history of the Ken Island Volunteer Fire Department. Both of those books came about from my involvement with the Ken Island Heritage Society right. and doing their oral history programs. Mm -hmm. I started doing that for them in 2001 up until this year. Uh, so I've interviewed dozens, scores of uh, Ken Islanders, uh, many who have passed mm -hmm. since I talked to them. Uh, this book in particular came about because the membership of the Ken Island Volunteer Fire Department knew that I was uh, conducting these oral history interviews and they realized that they had one original member left. Oh, that wow. everyone had passed except one wow. member. And you needed to And they document. thought, we well, need to document. Would yep. you? And they asked if I would be interested in doing it and I did and as we got through the process we realized we had a lot of good material. Right. There were a lot of funny stories, there were a lot of poignant stories, there were a lot of uh, people in the community who maybe hadn't got recognition or uh, had been forgotten about right. uh, over the years. So uh, both of my books come from uh, those oral histories of, from the Ken Island Heritage. Are Society. you going to have both your books at the event? I will be. Okay. I will have, and uh, all proceeds for this one go to the fire department. Oh wow! So I always uh, all profits for this book go to the Ken Island Volunteer Fire Department. So that's huge. And then. Kim, you have a book that you, you said you read and was really good. Tell us about this one. Well, this is just a, a clever little book by Susan Jones, and it's called Words Worth. And it is these rhyming and um, verse about words that you may have never heard of. <laughs> um, it might be a good place for uh, kids with SAT to oh. take a look at this book. Um, a, lot of book a lot of these words are out of use pretty much at this time. But oh, wow. it's still really fun, and it's really cute how she uh, put the book together. Oh, nice. So in, in a little dictionary format. Very um, nice. It, this makes a great gift for teenagers or anybody that likes to play with words. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, my mind's working already. My, my stepfather <laughs> loves words and anything having to do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that, might be a, yep. that might be a gift there. I know and that then, Susan drew, uh, came to, to this from her uh, corporate uh, career. Uh, she would uh, give speeches uh, to corporate um, hmm. people and just started developing this through the words. Through, through the words. Mm -hmm. hmm. And then I think this one you said you had read. I and had. Uh, Susan Rice, is. Uh, uh, she lives in St. Michael's. Okay. Uh, she's a silver collector. And oh, so no. this is Tarnished the first silver. of a series. I think the third one came out just in the last few months. Okay. Um, they take place in St. Michael's. Oh, wow. They are proper mysteries, and they all have something to do with silver collecting. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. And then um, here's another one. Sure. This is uh, uh, Harold O. Wilson, How uh, Lives on Ken Island, and this is a collection of short stories. Oh. Um, How, uh, this book has gotten a lot of good reviews. Um, it's been out for a couple years now, but uh, I don't know anyone who's read it, who has read it that hasn't totally enjoyed this book. Wonderful. And uh, how also uh, has a radio program uh, in the um, Salisbury okay. NPR, I believe. Okay. And it features local regional writers. Uh, I believe it's once a week and he interviews writers and they even occasionally put on radio plays. Okay, and then these two are both by a local Nick author, Coxter. Nick Coxter, who um, I know that name people recognize, Absolutely. but two different books here. Um, these are two of three that Nick has. Okay. Um, Nick is the, uh, he calls himself the Old Islander, old yep. with an E at the end, so the old English author. Right. And uh, Nick has uh, made his life's passion um, telling people about growing up on Ken Island in, in his day. And he'll be there signing these during the event Absolutely too? Absolutely will. Mm. All three of okay. Nick, Nick will be there signing all three of his books. And, and then those have become Ken Island classics. Yeah, well that's, I'm, I'm like, okay, I can, I already think of somebody that could, 
I think would appreciate one of these. I think Nick is definitely an uh, emissary for mm -hmm. the Eastern oh, Shore. Definitely. He represents the Eastern Shore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he is the go-to guy. Uh, even for those of us who may write about the Eastern Shore, right. uh, Nick has answers that most of us don't have. Wonderful. And his collection of photos are just yeah. unparalleled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, great. So this is a little sampling of some of the story, some of the books that are going to be available, some of the authors that will be there. Mm -hmm. So come out and, um, you know, like I said, it's time to start shopping. That's right. Absolutely. So you don't have much longer left. And what a better way to do it, do it all at once. Books mm -hmm. make great gifts. They do. They do. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you.